Why narcissists crave drama? Narcissists will deliberately put themselves in a disagreement or argument. They will deliberately put themselves in an area of conflict or opposition. They will get into arguments with their family, friends or people at work. They will get into arguments with people they don't even know. There's always something happening with them. There's always some type of drama. If you're dealing with a narcissist, there's going to be a lot of conflict. It's completely unavoidable. They cannot stay out of hostile situations. They will often deliberately start conflicts by focusing on things that are not important or significant. They will start conflicts by being arrogant and condescending, showing a feeling of patronizing superiority, being snobby and pretentious. And because of this, a lot of people don't like them. A lot of people don't want to deal with them. They can't stay friends with people for long periods of time. Unless it's based on something superficial. Unless there's no deep discussion where the other person gets to explore the narcissist's distorted way of thinking. But even then, in those situations, the narcissist will just agree with them. They will give them a false impression. But there's not going to be any friendship or relationship with the narcissist that doesn't involve drama. Because they have this air of superiority that makes them impervious to other people's feelings. They feel like they can say or do whatever they want to people. Because in their minds, everyone around them is inferior to them. They feel entitled to behave however they choose to. They don't feel that they should be corrected for their inappropriate behavior. They have double standards. They can say or do something. But if you do it, it's a different story. Conflict arises when you do try to correct the narcissist on their behavior, when you do have an issue with how they are acting, when you do decide to confront them on it and talk about it, the narcissist becomes very defensive. They become very anxious to challenge or avoid criticism. If you have dealt with a narcissist, you will know that when you confront them on their behavior, they overreact. They react in ways that are not necessary or reasonable. They don't respond like emotionally mature adults. They don't respond to your criticism in a favorable way. They get very angry. They reacted a way where it's like they're in a fight for their lives. Because they feel like you have no right to tell them how to do something. In their minds, they are superior to you. They're supposed to tell you what to do. If you criticize anything that they've done or if you confront them on how they've treated you. They will intimidate you. 
They will mock you. They will ridicule you. They will try to reduce the significance of what you're saying. Or they will just act like you didn't say anything. Especially if they know that it's true. Or they will try to project it onto you. But they're never going to own it. And that is why there's so many arguments with narcissists. Because a lot of times they just can't accept when they're wrong. It's almost impossible to be around a narcissist without engaging in some form of argument. They're very selfish and mean. Because they have too much interest in small and unimportant matters. They always find excuses to be upset and cooperative childish and stubborn they will go out of their way to put people down they will be contemptuous and sarcastic because they don't like it when people are more intelligent than they are or when they have something that they don't especially if those people hold an opposing idea or opinion something that threatens the narcissist's false reality they don't like people who have knowledge they don't like people who get more attention or acknowledgement than they do. It irritates them. So they will go out of their way to pick on them. They will start problems out of nothing with that person. They will become very competitive. They will behave in a way that is characterized by conflict and opposition because it regulates their feelings of envy and jealousy which is why they crave drama which is why they have to start something out of nothing because it relieves the sickness within them but they crave drama because they're very envious jealous people they experience feelings of discontentment and resentment aroused by someone else's possessions, qualities or luck. That's why they always give you these undermining comments and criticism. Because from their envy, they're trying to lessen your power, ability and effectiveness. You can tell how a person is feeling by the behaviours that they are displaying to you. How a person treats you is a direct reflection of how they feel about themselves. When you see a person who is so quick to attack someone, it should only reveal to you their own emotional state. They are weak, cowardly people. And they've gotten away with this many times before. Where they've said or done something to someone and nothing was done about it. Because if someone had put them in their place where there was a threat to their safety, it would have modified their behavior. They would have realized that they can't get away with that anymore. People wouldn't be involved in these actions if there was an immediate threat to their safety, if there was a consequence for their actions. These behaviours continue because it's not being monitored, it's not being controlled or supervised by means of rules and regulations, which is why there's a lot of bullies and cowards who behave like this. People who habitually seem to harm and intimidate those whom they perceive as vulnerable. People who are always trying to compete with you. It's because they want to be better than you at something. They want to be more skillful or more successful. So that you're not the only one that gets to take pride and pleasure in their accomplishments. Because that makes them feel small in comparison.
Narcissists crave drama because it regulates their feelings of envy and jealousy. And because it's something that's been left unchecked. It's something that has been enabled by the people around them. They have an air of superiority that makes them impervious to other people's feelings because no one ever put them in their place. Which is why it's so easy for them to be condescending towards you. It's so easy for them to give hurtful comments and sarcastic remarks. Because most of these people have never even been in a fight. They've never had to face the consequences of engaging in those behaviours. They've been doing this for a very long time. And the reason why this continues is because they found a way to not get caught up in the consequences of those behaviours. That's how they get away with causing drama and chaos. But if someone did respond to them with the use or threat of violence, you would see the narcissist quickly withdraw from that situation. They might not want to be involved with that person again. Narcissists like drama because they've mastered the way to push people's buttons. They know what to do or say to make someone angry or upset. And they like to see how far they can go with it. They engage in cowardly acts because they believe that there's no immediate threat to their safety. They feel that they can safely engage in these types of behaviours without any repercussions. If there were immediate consequences, they wouldn't engage in those behaviours. But even if you do respond in a forceful manner, the narcissist will use that to say that you're the one that's abusing them. They will provoke you to react to them and then record or document your reaction to their abuse, which will then be used against you. It will be used to further enable them to continue their behaviour while suppressing those who dare to stand up against them. This is how these narcissists have managed to survive for such a long period of time by evading the consequences of their behaviours. Because if there was an immediate consequence to those behaviours, they wouldn't act in such an uncontrolled and unrestrained way. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.